Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at the Productivity 1000 Series PLC PID Ramp Sew Construction. And detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been provided in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will also be links in the rest of this videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, from last time we did our PID um, and we auto-tuned that PID and our output was driven by a time proportional which is this part of the um, output right here and what we've actually added is a average instruction so what we've done is we've taken the, um, the average of our input from our thermocouple and we put it on a thermocouple average output and we set that for uh, 200 or 2000 uh, milliseconds which is two seconds interval which is the same output as what our time proportional relay is actually oscillating at or, or the control period of that relay will be so cancel there and then you'll see that we took that thermocouple average output and we actually applied it into our thermocouple average output for our process variable going into the PID controller so just to stabilize our PID a little bit uh, more. So today we're going to actually take a look at the ramp soaking feature. And you can see that we have three inputs. We have an enable, we have a run pause, we have a skip, and we have a reset. And then we have our steps that we do. So the um, first step that we have is um, 75. So it's going to change the set point to 75 and the ramp time is the gradual increase that we want. Now in our case here we're going to leave that at zero and we're going to allow that to ramp up as quickly as possible based on our PID uh, parameters. Then what we do is we're going to put a 240 second soak time to keep that temperature at the same. Then we'll go after the soak time we'll go up to 85 degrees and then we'll again zero ramp and then we'll um, soak at that at 360 seconds which is located right here and then we'll go to seven back down to 70 again and we will uh, keep that at uh, 600 seconds or 10 minutes okay so that's actually our instruction and we can uh, have our number of steps here we can have up to 16 of these steps on our ramp soak and we've used structure here and we call it ramp soak. So we'll just hit cancel on that. And then what we'll do is um, you'll see we have switch number three, we'll enable it. Switch number four keeps it in uh, run or pause. And then we have switch number five, uh, which is our skip. So we'll skip that step. And then switch number six will reset that unit or that ramp soak. Then we're at the bottom here, we have switch number three, which will do a copy. And so when we're in auto or we're enabling the ramp soak time, what we're doing, we'll do is we will uh, copy our ramp soak output to our set point output. And then if we don't have switch number three on, and what we'll do is we'll just keep our PID set point at 70. So we copy 70 in that. So that is our program that we've uh, modified and the next thing we'll do is take a look at our hardware so here I'm communicating to my Ethernet port right here and then I have my thermocouple input card which has been wired into my thermocouple which is in my cup of uh, water then I have my output which is then going into my immersion heater located right here. And that immersion heater, our output is spliced into the power cord to actually turn it on and off. And this is our actual relay that we can see cycling to maintain that temperature that we've set for. So we have everything set up. What we'll do is we will up our PID uh, loop or tuning 
PID tuning. It's located under the application tools under monitoring and debug. It's called PID tuning. Or we can go under tools and then call up PID tuning. When we do, we'll then select our water heater and we will look at that uh, process variable and uh, set point. So right now we see it's 70 and our process vary at 69, 69.3 right now. So what we'll do is we'll just lower this down a little bit so we can see our information right here. And then what we'll do is we will enable our ramp soak. So when we do that, we'll turn on switch number three. And when we do, what you'll notice is that our set point now goes up to 75. And our output is now um, climbing. And what you'll do is you see my elapsed time. Now we will go up to uh, 240 seconds and then it will finish that ramp time then we'll step up to 85 and then after uh, 360 seconds we will then set it back to 70 again and it goes back So you can see our, lamp, our ramp soak instruction now is complete and we are maintaining the temperature back to 70 degrees. So once again, step one, we moved up to 75 and we stayed there at, uh, for 240 seconds or as we ramped up, we, we took 240 seconds then to change it to 85, stayed there for 360 seconds and then we dropped it back down to 70 and waited 10 minutes or 600 seconds to go back down again. So you'll notice that the overshoot was plus or minus uh, uh, two uh, degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad considering my very uh, rudimentary uh, uh, glass of water. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our, our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription in order to get that notification right away. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.